it would say, I won't have this arrow removed until I know the given name and clan of the man who wounded me, until I know whether he was tall, medium, or short, until I know whether he was dark, ruddy brown, or golden colored, until I know his home village, town, or city, until I know whether the bow with which I was wounded was a long bow or a crossbow, until I know whether the bowstring with which I was wounded was fiber, bamboo, threads, sinew, hemp, or bark, until I know whether the shaft with which I was wounded was wild or cultivated, until I know whether the feathers of the shaft with which I was wounded were those of a vulture, a stork, a hawk, a peacock, or another bird, until I know whether the shaft with which I was wounded was bound with the sinew of an ox, a water buffalo, a langur, or a monkey. He would say, I won't have this arrow removed until I know whether the shaft with which I was wounded was that of a common arrow, a curved arrow, a barb, a calf, tooth, or an oleander arrow. The man would die, and those things would still remain unknown to him. What do you make of that? What's his point? What's the moral of that parable? I don't know. It doesn't matter what happens. Just deal with it. It kind of seems like almost a little like, sassy commentary about um, the Judeo Christian religions and how like, everything is just a quest for understanding everything about everything. It's like, that doesn't really matter. I think this is kind of how like Buddhism differs from other religions that we've studied so far. Because it's more of like a way to just be enlightened and kind of be more knowledgeable about like right now, other than like other like questions that a lot of other religions try to answer, like where we came from, like what happens after life, all that stuff is more about like the now. Do you all agree with LJ's reading of it? Yeah. Pretty sassy, huh? Pretty sassy. Uh, <laughs> what are your impressions of Buddhists? What are your impressions? from the suffering, so a little bit of irony in that, but I don't disagree. I think first association is the Dalai Lama, and just because of, like, Mr. Nali, like, how much he loved the Dalai Lama, just, like, everything is, like, positive about Buddhism for me right now. Like, even though I know, like, it's based on, like, the realization that there's suffering. Very insane. 
same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it a couple of days. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah. All right. So, um, 